welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about um, my Petit Boar box. And if you've seen my other Petit Boar videos, what I try to do is review the previous month and unbox the current month. And basically that gives me enough time to use the products that I got in the prior month and then uh, be able to show you what the new month looks like. So we're going to be reviewing the August Petit Boar box and we will be unboxing the September Petit Boar box. I will put a link in the description below regarding just the value of everything. Um, I really, really liked my August box. Um, I'm hoping that I really, really like my September box and I will put all that info down there so you guys can check it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get started with the August box. So the first thing in the box that I have really been enjoying is the My Shell, I believe that's how it's um, pronounced, Fruit Enzyme Scrub. I have been uh, using this, I would say probably about three times a week. I use it when I'm in the shower, put it on, um, I shampoo my hair, I put it on, kind of rinse out the shampoo, and then I go ahead and uh, put uh, rinse this off. It does say you can leave it on for three to five minutes for the enzyme action. I did notice, I, I've, there's been times that I've washed it off right away, and there's been times that I've waited. It just depends if I'm in a rush or what's going on. Um, sometimes I just forget, and I just take it off like a regular scrub. Um, I did notice a difference. Like if I left it on, I could feel more of like a tingling action. So I really, really like it. It's not super gritty. It's perfect. It's like has the perfect amount of, of grit to it so that you can use it a little bit more often. It's cruelty free, vegan friendly, gluten free. Um, it is leaping bunny, no, sorry, not leaping bunny, cruelty, um, PETA certified, excuse me. And it smells really good. It's fruit enzyme. I'm not quite sure what's in it because it doesn't have the ingredients on the actual packaging, it had the ingredients on the box. Um, it's made in Colorado. I don't know, I don't know what it reminds me of, honestly. I can't even like pinpoint what I think it smells like. But I have really, really uh, been enjoying using this in the shower and I would honestly uh, probably repurchase this. I do have another scrub in line after this one. And this was a full size, so there's actually quite a bit of product in here. You, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a whole lot. You apply a thin layer after cleansing and gently polish with fingertips. So it's not like you're slathering it all over. It's a thin layer. So really, really like this. Highly recommend it. I will put a link in the box. The second thing in the box was the Juara or Huara uh, Clove Flower and Turmeric Serum. So we received two of these little packages and the product itself is nice. It smells very good. It feels nice on your skin. It doesn't leave like a, a weird residue. It absorbs quickly and nicely. Um, it's supposed to diminish fine lines and wrinkles and cream firmness, increase firmness, excuse me. I would say it does all of that because it does have kind of like a jelly-ish consistency. It's a see-through gel. So it does kind of like solidify. So it kind of firms everything up. So the product itself is really, really nice. What I dislike is this packaging. So it's a paper packaging. It's a paper package, excuse me, which is fine. But you can't seal it at all. So it's always going to be open until you're done with it. And it doesn't stand up by itself. So I always have to make sure that I have it leaning up against something because if not, it's just going to spill all over the place, which this packaging just makes no sense to me. I think this is like the second thing I've gotten in my Petit Boar box that comes in this type of packaging and I just don't like this packaging. I think it's a waste of product. Like what if you spill it and you're like, oh, there went all of my like, I think this is an expensive product too. So there went all of my product. It smells really good. I like, like, like the product. It's not the product. It's definitely the packaging. I would, if I'm, if they're listening, if they're going to watch this video, please reconsider this packaging. It doesn't work. I think it's great that it's paper. It's recyclable, but you know, so is this. This is recyclable. Pretty much everything in the world now is recyclable. You just have to recycle it. So, um, like the product, hate the packaging. 
let me make sure that I stand it up so that I don't lose it. Okay. Third thing in my August box was the Year Oak Feed Your Shine Hair Serum. Um, this is very similar. So the, it, the scent is, it almost reminds me of like woodsy, I would say, kind of like a woodsy scent. You just take a little bit. I like the lid because it's not like it's all glopping out. So you do have to kind of put some effort into getting some out. It has that, it's not super oily at all. I just kind of put it on the ends. It does have essential oils in it, but it's not overly oily, like a Moroccan oil, which I like a Moroccan oil, um, or I'm trying to think what's another oil one out there. Um, I don't know, I can't remember right now. But I like it, it's light, I like how it smells. It smells very fresh, very woodsy. So this was a win for me, I really liked this. We also received um, a smaller package, very similar to this package uh, for, and I think it was called Feed Your Curls. So that was for more with people with curly hair. Obviously I don't have curly hair. So I did give that to somebody um, that has curly hair so that they could use it. And uh, this is uh, this is a good brand. I've, this is, I believe, the second product I've received in my Petivore box from them. I think the first one was called Feed Your Ends, and it's like a spray um, for the ends. And I really, really like that. And it's PETA certified, which is great. And it's cruelty free and vegan. And the last thing in the August box is the Modern Minerals. T Rose finishing powder or finishing glow and I I didn't know if I was gonna like this or not I was kind of like eh, what if it's like too like shiny or too pink I just thought it was weird that we had it was a rose colored finishing powder but I have really really liked this finishing powder it does not leave a crazy sheen um, I would tell you, you can't even use this as a highlighter at all. It's very natural looking. It just gives you a really pretty glow. It's not anything crazy whatsoever. Um, just a nice finishing powder. I've tried Modern Minerals before. I believe I have some eyeshadows from them. Nice brand. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this. And this is not something that we got a little bit of either. Like this is completely full. A little bit does go a long way at least I don't put a lot of face product on I do like my eyeshadow and stuff like that but I don't put a whole lot on my face so I have really enjoyed this um, T Rose finishing glow very very pretty hi star we have a little visitor hey my baby okay so the next thing in here oh there's no more in there so we're gonna go ahead and unbox the September box and I already opened it just so I can make sure all packaging was ready to go. This is what our box looks like. Petit Boar. And their logo with Be Bold, Be Kind. So I love it. I love getting my little pink box in the mail. It makes me very happy. When you open it, I already took the black confetti paper out. <clears throat> and every month has a different theme. And this month is actually their mantra be bold and be kind so very cool and then on the other side you have the products that are in the box hey sam come here come here no all right let me let me let them out give me one sec okay i'm back i let them out that way they can kind of chill out there while we finish Sam always wants to be outside. Like Star would be very happy hanging out right next to me, but Sam always wants to be outside. Um, so be bold, be kind. And the first thing that's in here, which I was very excited that we were getting, they posted a sneak peek of this um, a little bit ago. The Logical Harmony also did a sneak peek about it. And it was the Elate Clean Cosmetics Lipstick. And this is in the shade Lively. And I just love the packaging. Is it not the prettiest thing ever? It's wood. Look at the along the bottom of the container. So pretty. 
And then we got our little label on the bottom that says Lively. And this is, I would say it's a very neutral tint. It's not a super, it's not an opaque lipstick whatsoever. I think this is nice for the fall. You could do a really like, like deep eye and then maybe use this on your lip. You could use this every day. You could use this for the fall. Um, you could probably use this over a lipstick, over like a matte cream or something like that to kind of bring out the sheen. It's very pretty. It's kind of like um, coppery, rosy orange. I don't know. I need to put it on and get a better idea. The color actually reminds me of the... Uh, what was that other brand that we got? Lippy Girl, the Vigo Centric lipstick. It reminds me of that color, very much so. I feel like those two colors are very similar. So I'll probably um, maybe do a post or something comparing the two because they're very, very, very similar colors. The next thing in here is the MSC Skin Care and Home Grapefruit and Spearmint Organic Sugar Scrub. That is our brand. Seems like maybe a, like a smaller brand. Oh, it smells good. It's just, you know, your typical scrub. I really like body scrubs. And this looks gritty enough that it's not for the face. It's definitely a body scrub. And my husband likes it too. My husband works in construction, so he gets... I feel like when he gets dirty, it gets like caked in dirt. So when he can use a scrub to kind of get it off, I feel like he feels better and he just feels cleaner. And let's see what's in here. Fair trade organic sugar, sunflower oil, um, shea butter, grapefruit essential oil, and spearmint essential oil. So um, I definitely got the spearmint. I really did not get the grapefruit scent at all. No, maybe it comes out when you're using it. But either, get, either way, the spearmint is fine. I feel like anything minty is like super refreshing on the body. And it's the essential oil, so that's cool. So I'll put this in the shower and we will definitely get use out of it. The third thing in here is the Blissoma Solutions Free Rejuvenating Herbal Gel Cleanser and Makeup Remover. So, oops, wrong way. There is the label. And there is the information on the top. Um, this looks like a full size to me. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I haven't even told you what the prices are for any of this. So the Elate lipstick is $17. This is the full size. And the MSC exfoliating scrub. Um, this is not a full size. Full size retails for $33. So I will go ahead and just make sure you check out the description box. I'll put um, what the sample value was of what was in the box so that you guys have a good idea as to how much you're getting. Um, I believe Petit Vore is $15 a month, and that includes your shipping, <clears throat> just to give you an idea of what the value of their subscription service is. And then the Blissoma Cleanser, um, I guess this is not a full size. I thought this would be a full size because it's pretty big to me. Um, full size retails for $32, so just check out in the description box what this sample is worth. And let's see, it's just basically a cleanser, 100% natural, vitamins, antioxidants, uh, antioxidants, polyphenols, and flavonoids. Nothing crazy in terms of how to use it, just like your basic cleanser. It's an air pump. It smells smells kind of um like nutty and grainy so definitely you can see the natural aspect to it i feel like people who are transitioning from like a lot of processed products to more natural products are always kind of taken aback by the scent because there's no like perfumes or anything added like this is all natural so sometimes it doesn't smell like Oh, it smells so fruity or it smells so good. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't want to smell like this, but it's a gel cleanser. You know, it's not something that is going to stick around. Um, 
and it's all natural. It's got a lot of oils in it, grapeseed, sunflower, it's got radish root, uh, what else? Linden seed, raspberry leaf, plantain, alfalfa, there's your grainy smell, yerba mate. So very cool. I will definitely be um, using this. I will put this probably by my sink because since it's more of a, a makeup remover as well, so it's a gel cleanser and makeup remover, I will put this by my sink and use this at night. And the last thing in here is the Mahalo Pele Mask. Isn't this container just the cutest thing ever? I love it. It is so cute. And I actually saw, I think, because I follow Mahalo on um, Instagram, they posted a pic. Was it them that posted a picture? I'm not sure. Either It was either Petivore or Mahalo posted a picture. And they you could see all these tiny little containers. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's going to be... And I think they might have tagged Petivore, or maybe it was Petivore that posted the picture. And I was like, oh, we're going to get that. And I thought we were going to get it in August, but we didn't. So we got it in September. So I'm excited to get this. Um, this is obviously a sample size. The full size is $64. So I will definitely just check the description. I will let you know how much this sample size is worth. And let's see. It's your basic... Um, mask so it's a dry mask let's see yeah it's your basic dry mask I'm gonna be very clever I'm gonna be very careful because last time I spilled my mask on my keyboard so and it smells really good so see here's another example of a very natural product and this one has a totally different scent and they did put a little card in there so they are leaping bunny certified Made in Kapa'a, Hawaii. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Volcanic ash clay, red clay, rosewood clay, cacao, black lava, Hawaiian salt. Ooh, that's cool. Um, bamboo charcoal powder, papaya, hibiscus, aloe vera, turmeric, ginger, marigold. Like there is just, and I'm like halfway down the list. So everything you can see, it sounds just delicious. Sandalwood oil is all the way at the bottom. Guava cayenne, witch hazel, white willow, sandalwood. Um, so you can see where probably some of where the scent is coming from is very good. Um, so very cool, I'm excited to try this. Oh, and then they have like a little picture of the sample size maybe versus the full size is what I would assume. So maybe this is like an eighth of what's in the actual box or in the actual full size. All right, so very cool. I'm excited to try that. So please, um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your favorite August product was, whether it was from Petivore or whether it was from another uh, subscription service. I have tried other subscription services. I'm just on like minimal buying because I'm not working right now. My husband is our, our brings home the bacon, our vegan bacon. And um, so Petivore is just one I cannot live without. So I'm keeping my, my Petivore. And let me know what you think about the September box. I hope you guys have a great day. As always, stay beautiful and cruelty-free. Have a good one. Bye-bye.